Hello, my name's Karen Begley and I'm privileged to be Head of School here at Carrisbrook College. Welcome to our Frequently Asked Questions for New Year's Six parents and students. I'm going to let the team introduce themselves to you now who are here tonight to help answer the questions. Hi there, I'm Mrs Lithgow, I'm Head of Year 7 and also the Primary Transition Lead here at Carrisbrook College. Hello, I'm Michael Peake, I'm Head of Behaviour and Safeguard on the Carrisbrook College site and also the SLT link for Year 7. Hello, I'm Kerry James, Head of Teaching and Learning at Carisbrook. Hello, I'm Debbie Connor uh, and I'm the SENCO for the Federation. Okay, so let's get started then. So first question, um, and Miss Lithgow is going to answer this for us. <laughs> how long are the lessons and how long is break and lunch time? So we've got five lessons, um, one hour lessons each day, and we've got a break time and a lunch time, 20 minutes for our break time and 40 minutes for our lunch time. Thank you. Okay, over to Miss James for this one. What subjects will I do? We make sure that in year seven you have as wide a breadth of subjects as possible. So as well as the core subjects you've already studied like English, math, science and PE, we add to that with humanities, all the technology subjects you can think of, um, art, drama, music, languages and computer science. Thank you very much. Um, I think you've answered this um, in terms of which languages will I learn. Well, actually, we've got two languages on offer in Year 7. You can study French and Mandarin. Thank you. OK, question for me. Um, I have concerns about my child being in a small class bubble at primary school and potentially there being a larger year bubble at secondary. If the situation is still the same, how will you keep my safe child? My child safe, sorry. Well, we, we're doing that now in terms of our current year groups. Um, we very much follow government guidance and Public Health England guidance. Um, you know, we're keeping to the um, hand hygiene um, and supporting our young people. Just because a bigger bubble doesn't make them any more vulnerable or unsafe. OK, over to Miss Lithgow for the next question. What food can I buy in the canteen? How do I pay for it? OK, so we um, are... Caterlink are our providers here at Carisbrook College um, and they offer uh, a variety of food. Um, hot food is on every day, so we have a menu, weekly menu. It can range from um, roast dinners to curries, depending on the day. Um, and we um, have a cashless system here so that students don't have to carry money around school. Thank you very much. OK, uh, question for Miss James. How are you dealing with the breadth of children's abilities in the current situation? I've heard children this year are staying in one place with a teacher coming to them rather than walking around the site to separate lessons. To be honest, <coughs> even though the teachers are going to the students, the lessons and the settings are pretty much the same. So we set in maths in year seven and the rest of the subjects are mixed ability. And we've done that the same as we always have. Teachers go to students with um, the, their resources and we've kept certain um, classes outside of the bubble. So for technology, music and drama, students can still use the specialist equipment. So we're still meeting all of our students' needs. Thank you. OK, one for me. As the school is in one building, do the students get a chance to go outside during the day? Um, yeah, we are in one building, but um, we've got a huge amount of space outside. We've got an astro and with turf, we've got basketball courts, we've got green lots of green fields, we've got an area outside the main building. So break and lunch times, um, they're out and about um, enjoying the, the sort of facilities we have. OK, one for Mr Peake. Hello, Mr Peake. You've been a bit quiet over there. <laughs> what happens if my child gets bullied? OK, here at Carisbrook, um, we do realise that at times students do get bullied. But the key here is to work with both the student getting bullied, but also the student who is doing the bullying. Because what we don't want is it to be repeated. So what we do ask is that students are always honest. So if you are a victim of bullying, if you tell us and you voice your opinion about what's happening, we will help you. And you, of course, are our priority. We want you to feel safe when you come to this school and we want you to be happy. If we don't know about it, there's very little we can do. So we really do push for you to be honest, open, which whilst at times that's very difficult, it's also about taking that lesson yourself and moving forward with it. And of course, if someone is found to be being bullied, then that means the person doing the bullying will be dealt with severely. And whilst that student will be supported through that time as well, I can't hide away from the fact that we do come down very hard on people who are doing the bullying. Thank you. OK, next question is for me, which is why should we choose Carrisbrook College? This is the question that I really like. I'm so disappointed you weren't able to um, join us at our uh, normal open evenings because then I think you get to, to see what makes Carrisbrook so special. And I think it, part of that is the team of staff that work here who are committed 
um, to doing the best they can for, for your your children. Um, we've got a beautiful new building which um, is state of the art in terms of the facilities. Um, but I think our biggest unique selling point is we are the smallest secondary on the island and that brings with it the ability for staff to really get to know your <coughs> children um, and support them with their, their education. So, you know, I am a bit biased but Carisbrook is, is the best. Okay, over to Miss Lithgow for the next question. As is a new building, are there boys and girls toilets? Ah, so no, we just have toilets here at Carisbrook College, student toilets. And um, if I'm honest, when we first moved into our building, I think it was the staff and the teachers that were more concerned about the fact that there, there weren't boys and girls toilets. The students just got on with it fine. It's never, ever been an issue since moving here. So it's not a problem. Thank you. OK, Miss James, the question we we tend to always get how much homework will my child get um in year seven um it's very simple core subjects english maths science will be setting half an hour a week every week and the rest of the subjects set 45 minutes every fortnight okay uh, question for me how will will we be offering transition days in july unfortunately at the moment we can't say we really do hope we're in a position that that, that is viable and we can do our normal transition to support um, your child if they choose to come to us at Carisbrook. Um, needless to say, don't panic because we've, we couldn't have them this year. We put on a bespoke transition day um, when they, Year 7's joined us um, and you know we're fully aware of, of the things that we need to put in place. So we hope to have transition days, um, but if we can't, no panic. Um, you know, you will be made welcome and able to sort of start your <coughs> five years at Carisbrook um, well prepared. OK, over to Miss Lithgow. Is there a student council? Yes, there is a student council um, and it's lovely. So um, let me just tell you about our new student council from year seven. Um, this was worked out in tutor time and different tutors did different things. So they might have um, nominated themselves and then they've read a speech. Um, and then the rest of the class have, have chosen who they want as their student council. So basically it's the voice of a student um, and there's one student that will, will, will kind of be the voice for that tutor group. Um, there were 10 meetings, Miss Begley will go to those meetings and listen to the students um, and they really love it and they get things done. It's, it's a really nice, nice thing for them. Okay, um, over to Mr Peak. Can I come into school if I have a concern? Um, at this moment in time, the, the quick answer is no. We, we, where we can, we advise adults to stay away as much as possible to keep everybody safe here. Um, however, if it's absolutely urgent, then it can be arranged. We can obviously take phone messages. Uh, we can call you back at a more appropriate time. And like I say, worst case scenario, we can meet face to face, but it is actually just at an absolute must at this moment in time. Once we get back to normal, then yes, of course, it would come in like it would any other time. Okay, thank you. Okay, over to um, Ms Connor. Um, what support do you have for children with SEND? Well, the first thing that we do is we work very closely with, with primary schools uh, so that we're able to get a lot of information about your child and any particular needs your child has before they, they arrive with us at Carisbrook College. Uh, one of the really nice things is uh, quite a number of primary schools will invite me or members of my team to primary school to meet students beforehand, to take part in review meetings, uh, to get to know those students so that they're not just a name on a, a special needs list. Uh, so that's really, really important. Transition is a, is a massive part of that. Um, as, you, as you'll know, every child with a, with a special need is completely different. So I'm, I'm loath to say what we do for students with, with special needs. What we do is we look at your child and look at what your child needs and provide the support. We've got a very good uh, team of learning support assistants uh, led by a very experienced um, SEM manager here at Carisbrook College uh, and we will work really closely with your child both in the classroom and if necessary in an interventions outside of the classroom. But like I say it's bespoke to individual children and it depends what your child needs. Thank you very much. Okay, um... Over to Mr Peake, um, will there still be assemblies? Um, yes, at this moment in time we are still functioning in the bubbles of year groups. Even before this time our assemblies were just with a year group. So as we are a small secondary school we still stick to government guidelines in terms of how many we can put together and therefore our assemblies can go ahead as normal. 
Okay, thank you. Um, over to Miss Lithgow. My child is quite worried about moving from a small primary school to a secondary school. How will you help them overcome this and make them feel settled? Yeah, this is a real worry, isn't it, for parents um, and, and students. And um, as Miss Begley mentioned, our transition is key and is really important. Students will come in and they will have two days as Carisbrook College students. And during that time, they will really learn how we work, how our break times work, how the canteen works, um, meet their tutors. They'll know where their tutor group is. Um, so, so the transition, as I say, is key. And then um, that those kind of smaller things like making contact with parents, making contact with primary schools, um, we work really, really hard and, and closely with primary schools to get as much information about your child as possible. Um, and then we use that information and share that information where, where necessary. Um, so yeah, so hopefully then when students arrive in September, they feel very comfortable already. Okay, thank you. Uh, question for me really, can we arrange a tour of the school? Um, like I said earlier, we are very much following government guidance um, and Public Health England. And the advice at the moment is there should be no unnecessary visits to schools. Clearly, if that advice and guidance changes and the rules change, then we would, you know, we would welcome you to come and have a tour of, of Carisbrook. Um, but hopefully, you know, we might well be able to get a virtual tour, tour up and going. Um, but at the moment, the answer is no, I'm afraid. OK, over to Miss James. You are a smaller school now. Do the students still get a wide range of opportunities? Yeah, I mean, we might be a smaller school now, but we're still part of the Isle of Wight Education Federation. So we still got access to all the resources across the three sites. Um, our students have got so many opportunities to do extra things like once the current situation is over, obviously, um, orchestras, trips abroad, um, Duke of Edinburgh, there's so much stuff going on. That actually, I think we've got the best of both worlds. We're a small school, so we know every student. But we're part of a big federation, which means we have everything we possibly need to help us do everything we want to do. OK, thank you. Um, I think this is over to Miss Connor. My child is used to having one teacher all day. Will there be more consistent staff for my child to talk to? Yes, I think um, the the SN department and the pastoral team work, work quite closely to ensure that that students have got somebody that they know and trust. Um, for example, the learning support assistants every morning are out greeting students and building those those relationships so that they, they know there's someone they, they can talk to. And I know um, Miss Lithgow has something to say about the tutors as well and how that works. Yeah, so um, students have a tutor um, that's very consistent and they will meet with their tutor every, 20, every, every day for 20 minutes. Um, and so they're consistent in their school life. Um, there's also myself, um, pastoral year head. Um, we've got our SLT links, as Mr. Pete mentioned earlier. Um, and um, yeah, so they have support. OK, and the last question that, that we've got is, um, do you still have a sports hall and outside space for sports? So I'm going to chuck that to Mr. Pete as our PE member of staff amongst um, us. OK, so yes, we do have a sports hall. Um, I like that question. Um, so full size sports hall where we take to all normal indoor sports in that sense. We have an AstroTurf, two football pitches and a full size rugby pitch. As well as that we also use the main hall for sports like table tennis, dance, for when they're on the curriculum. So if you do choose to come to Carisport you don't need to worry about will I be able to do all of the activities that I can do elsewhere. We do all of the, the activities that anywhere else does. Okay, thank you very much. Um, well that's kind of comes to the end of the questions that we've had. Obviously, if you think of any questions going forward, please feel free to email them to us. Um, what we will do is um, put some of our, the answers um, onto a uh, spreadsheet so that we can put those on the um, website. Um, can I just stress the importance of going and looking on our website, which has got some, you know, a, a specific bit to do with transition. Um, and that's where you kind of can get up to date and see the newsletters and and kind of find out where we are in terms of um, our transition. Uh, many thanks to um, everyone who's joined me today to help answer, answer your questions. Um, and uh, we look forward to you hopefully joining us at Carisbrook in September. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. bye. bye.